only one shop will earn $200,000 on the title of Ink Master. Hell yeah. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. <laughs> now standing in your way are the next returning veterans. They both competed in season six, representing Black Cobra Tattoo, Matt Oba, and Katie McGowan. Two veterans that made it so far in the competition. It's a bulletproof team. Matt made it to the finale once before. I made it through about 75% of the competition. Now that we're here as a team, everybody needs to watch out. No matter who's here this time, there's nobody that's going to stop us from getting to the finale. We want it more than anyone else could possibly want it, and we have a point to prove. Matt, and Katie, good to see you guys. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you. So, how are you guys planning on working as a team? The things that I don't do well at, he excels in, and vice versa. So, we're just a really good match. Today, you must show proportion with a classic art form that's over 20,000 years old. That's old. Relief sculpture. Relief comes from the Latin word for elevated, because in this ancient art, a raised image is created. The whole basis of sculpting is proportions. You define the sculpture by its actual shape. For this challenge, you'll mix your own plaster, then apply it to an eight foot by eight foot canvas, layer by layer, to form your sculpture. Y'all, I'm a girly girl. I don't work in construction, so I don't really know what to do with plaster. Proportion is crucial, or your sculpture will be a mess. OK. You have five hours, and your time begins now. That looks awesome. I love this. I was classically trained in sculpture. I've worked with plaster thousands of times and in much bigger quantities than this. Well, I sure am glad that you're the plaster expert. Me and Katie are going to slay this. Let's win this one. How about that? Yeah. Black cobra tattoo? We felt like a bird would be a good way to show proportion. You do an excellent job creating the raised surface off of the board, because in these relief sculptures, anywhere that you can create a hard shadow through lighting, it really defines the image. The bird's in proportion to itself, so I think you guys hit the challenge. Thanks, y'all. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Black Cobra Tattoo. Awesome. You have something that's in relationship to itself. I think you guys hit a home run on that one. Congratulations, guys. You'll have the power to assign all human canvases in the next elimination tattoo. We're going to kill them uh, with this uh, skull uh, pick. Uh, of course we'll kill it. We know how to play the game, so this is exactly what we needed. Absolutely. I mean, we're coming in strong. Let's do this. There's no better test of proportion than what, Tommy? Than a pinup. A pinup. <laughs> You must tattoo your pinup from head to toe, including her hands and feet. Not only must the head, hips, and chest strike the right balance, but tiny body parts like fingers, eyes, and hair must also have appealing proportion. Pinups are one of the hardest things to tattoo. The face has to be the correct size, the hands, the feet, everything has to coincide with one another. And if one feature is off, you're going to take a beautiful woman and turn her into an ugly beast. Black Cobra tattoos. I really like this tattoo. It's really clean, it's really simple, and it tells the whole story. I love the details in it. The shoes, the leather you have coming up to the top of the calves. Really, really nice, clean outline, no wobbles. Overall, technically, best tattoo of the day, by far. Thank you. All right, Chris, it's time to announce tattoo of the day. As far as I'm concerned, there's two really standout tattoos, Black Cobra and Basilica. I got to be honest. if. Basilica punched in the color the way Black Cobra did. That's bulletproof tattooing. But I would argue that the proportions in Basilica are more spot on. Yes. My vote is for Basilica. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go Basilica because of the proportion. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Basilica. For this flash challenge, you need a steady hand because instead of using tattoo machines to puncture skin, you must use a drill to puncture wood. Oh. Using different size drill bits, your design will be determined by the size of the holes you drill and the distance between them. I have used a power drill to hang up art on the wall, but I have never made art with it. This is just going to be a nightmare. Win, and your shop will have the power to assign all the human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have five hours, and your time begins now.
is all gonna go very fast in here. I've actually created a special tool to be able to make perfect circles on our canvas. Those holes are all pretty equal. Oh, it looks really cool. Matt's gonna be doing a lot of work today. Does it look like I do woodworking back home? No. Let's do the exact same thing on the bottom. Katie is just sitting around, not drilling holes, not drawing holes, not measuring anything. Now introducing Katie, professional wipey girl. Black cobra tattoos. You've created quite an optical illusion. It actually does play with your eyes, which is pretty incredible considering it's a piece of wood with a drill. You show ultimate precision. Great job. We didn't come here to mess around. Yeah, we're in it to win it. They did circles. Good job, guys. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is Black Cobra Tattoos. <laughs> really nice concentric circles, and it had a visual effect that was hard to achieve. Good job, guys. This is the best day ever. Two Flash Challenges in a row. Seriously, you guys are just going to let us take this all the way to the end. Today, you must tattoo one of the most painful areas of the body to tattoo. Why? The armpit. God damn. Oh, I hate armpits. I don't even like my own armpits, let alone some random person's. Oh my god. Armpit tattoos are the worst. The skin is very sensitive, and it's very hard to stencil in an area that's completely creased. This is the pits. Everybody's armpit's different. If these artists are smart, they're gonna do strong, simple outlines with bold shading and color and get out. I like that placement overall. I do too. Each one of these teams has a definite alpha and a follower. We are testing the divide, so both artists will be tattooing individually, and we're looking to see who excels. This is all on you now, buddy. You ready, ready? All right, girl. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We are done. Yay. Good morning, artists. Yesterday, you tattooed your canvas's left armpit. Today, the opposite artist will tattoo the right armpit. However, you won't be working on the same canvas your teammate tattooed. The shops must all swap canvases. What? Another shop will be finishing what you started, and your shop must finish what someone else started, tattooing the right armpit. Amazing. Why? Canvases, please show us your tattoos. Black Cobra Tattoo, which canvas do you choose? We choose Old Town Inc's canvas. After looking at DJ's Hanya mask, I have no doubt at all that Matt's gonna crush him. Hello, so, we're creeping. <laughs> I had an idea. I don't know if you guys are into it. You can watch our backs later if I give you that drawing. Absolutely. At some point. Absolutely. It's like stencil ready, like yeah. I have the stencil for you. There's some silly things going on in this drawing. There's definitely gonna be some changes that need to be made. Fixing up my chopsticks. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little different chopsticks making that a little less confusing. It's completely driving DJ crazy that I'm making changes to his design. A lot of Japanese stuff's kind of goofy to me. I got news, DJ. You need to go back to school on Japanese. This week, you showed placement by tattooing a painful and awkward part of the body, the armpits. The judges will compare your work side by side with two artists. The artist who completed the armpit tattoo that you started and the artist whose armpit tattoo you completed. Let's see how you did. Aaron and Katie, you're up first. All right, Katie, you tattooed the first armpit. Both of these tattoos together, top notch. So I commend you guys for application, for style, for looking similar to each other. If you look at the subtle differences here in Katie's bigger flower, the red that fades to that peach tone is super, super smooth. And then the thin line is really nice and clean. And then if you look at Aaron's pink flower with the blue star in there, you see some wavering problems with the little thin line. Katie outshines you a little bit. She drew it, it's not a surprise. Katie takes it just with those tiny little bits of application when you're this close, it's apples to apples. Matt and DJ, you're up next. DJ, you started off with the Hanya mask. DJ, I like this tattoo, I think it looks super sharp. But the crooked face does bug me. The fact that the nose is curving and going one way and the teeth kind of not lining up, it's like a new school rendition of a Japanese tattoo. If you're gonna twist it, twist it everywhere. When I see these, it makes me cringe because it's not a follow through. Matt. The mouth is a little more legible, and I like what you did with the hair picks. No, I did make a few just kind of stylistic changes. But overall, you captured the look we want to see a little more in your rendition of DJ's drawing. Just in terms of overall aesthetics, we're going with Matt. Definitely going with Matt. 
The winner of this head-to-head -head is Matt. All right, judges, time to announce best tattoos of the day. I would go Matt and Katie over Christian and Nolan. Katie pulled off a really slick tattoo, and I think that Matt also, as far as technical application, he held up really strong. Would you say that one of these two tattoos is the best tattoo of the day? You wouldn't, what would you? Cleans is really solid. And you know what, Aaron's is really good too, just Katie beat him. So this is a win and a loss, but Aaron still looks like a nice, solid, clean tattoo. 100%, win and a loss, but top of the pack. Both tattoos are really diverse, coming out of the same shop. My vote is for Golden Skull Tattoo. Chris? Golden Skull. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Golden Skull Tattoo. Get ready for a fight to the finish line, because to earn a spot in the live finale, you must survive a tattoo marathon. Oh, that's a This whole competition has been a marathon. This could mean anything. You'll tattoo four different designs in four different styles, one right after the other. Jumping from one tattoo straight into another with really no time in between. It's gonna be a long day. Each shop will create one design for the marathon. Then, each shop must tattoo their own design and the three other designs created by the other shops. Damn, you slayed that outline so fast. Cool. Luckily, I tattoo geometric style tattoos back home on the daily, so I'm gonna kill this tattoo. You got the cleanest lines out of the group. Aaron would probably be the next closest. Crazy to do this in 90 minutes. You got it, lady. Next style up is black and gray, designed by Old Town Inc. What's up, guys? Exactly what I thought. Good luck, guys. It looks like there's a couple of purposeful mistakes. Like, is that pupil misaligned? DJ tried to screw everybody. This is a really scratchy looking stencil. What's up with these up circles? I get it, it's gamesmanship, but black and gray realism is my thing. I'm ready to go head to head with this guy and prove who's best. Curious to know if anybody else is pulling any of these effects. Oh, that's awesome. The Skin creases. Cells. Yeah. Nobody has seen me do black and gray realism in the house, and I don't think they understand how much I'm gonna kill this. You have totally like knocked it out of the park. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Oh man, that looks so good. God damn. Next up is Illustrative Fantasy, designed by Unkindness Art. So, Ooh. there we go. It's like just a, a mythical creature. Yeah. This is as big as it's gonna be? Yeah. You have an hour and a half, man. Good gotcha. luck, guys. Look how funky all the line work is. If you set it up for everyone else to fail, and then you fix it in your own drawing, then it, you look like a dick. If you set it up for everyone else to fail and didn't know it, and everybody else fixes the drawing, you look then dumb. you look like an idiot. Yeah. So either way, everybody's gonna look like a dickhead or an idiot. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. On to the next one. And finally, American traditional designed by Black Cobra Tattoos. This oh, is the nice. American traditional piece that nice. we will be doing. All I can say is good luck. All you gotta do is make a super clean tattoo and get the job done. That's a monster piece. We'll see if everybody pulls it off. And your time starts now. Last one, brother. Hit him with the heat. Black Cobra tattoos. First up is Basilica's geometric design. I like this monochromatic tape with tones similar enough to be in the same spectrum, but far enough apart to really create this 3D illusion. These color choices look really great. Old Town Inks, black and gray. Matt, I think the areas you put the hyper focus on are these eyelashes, the little corner tear duct, and then the small details that you have in the center of the eye really play nicely here. Unkindness Arts, Fantasy Illustrator. You made some positive changes to this design. The hairline looks a lot better. This hard inner bridge of the nose really gives the shape of the face. I really like how this one came out. Finally, Katie's American Traditional. Super solid, super clean tattoo. The saturation of all the colors, very nice, very bright. Definitely looking good today. If I walked into this shop and saw this portfolio, I'd be pretty stoked. All right, let's look at the head-to-heads. Who won the geometric? It's between Nolan and Katie. 100%. Obviously. I will say for Nolan's behalf, that thing is solid. 
So is that your final decision? I'm going with Nolan. I'm gonna go with Katie on this one. The line weight on Katie's is a little stronger. I like it a little better. Going with Katie. All right, so winner of the geometric head-to-head -head is Black Cobra. Next, Old Town Inc.'s Black and Gray. This one's a no-brainer for me. Christian gets this one. All right, the winner of this head-to-head -head is Basilica. Congratulations, Christian. Unkindness Arts Fantasy Illustrator. Again, very little debate on this one for myself. I go with Matt. I like DJ's color palette. That's my vote. I love what DJ did. I love the tentacles. But as an overall finished piece, I prefer Matt's as well. Congratulations, Black Cobra Tattoo. Finally, Black Cobra Tattoo's American Traditional. The two to debate over are Katie and Christian, but I like Christian's a little more muted green and yellow versus Katie's grass green and gold. Christian, no brainer. All right, winner of the head to head on American Traditional is Basilica Tattoo. That means we have two wins for Basilica Tattoo and two wins for Black Cobra Tattoo. But we came here today to put one shop in the finale. So is there a clear winner of the marathon? Both sides had definite great moments, and both sides had definite challenges. Well, let me ask you a question, Dave. Yeah. Is it too late to give them both a spot? You're saying let Black Cobra and Basilica go. I think both these shops deserve a shot in the finale. They're completely dead heat. Listen, I'll do it. F it, do it. No way. Basilica tattoo, Black Cobra tattoo, congratulations. You guys are in the spot in the live finale. Yeah. <laughs> Representing Black Cobra Tattoos, it's Katie McGowan and Matt O'Barr. Get in close and get a real good look. Katie, talk to us about this tattoo. Um, I love tattooing floral imagery. I love tattooing mandalas. So I wanted to showcase a style that I'm super passionate about. So that's what I went with. All right, all right. Black Cobra. Please coming up with your canvas. <laughs> Tattooed by the stunning Katie McGowan. Chris, what are your thoughts? Well, Katie, I think this one you really hit out of the park. Your color play and this mandala, the richness of the colors and the juxtaposition of the cool to the warm really, really sets well. I love the balance that it has with the leaves. Everything you did on this tattoo is really spot on. It's one of the nicest tattoos I've seen you do. Yeah. Black Cobra, thank you very much. You got robbed on season six. And I feel so, like you went home way too early. I totally agree. So we have a lot to prove. So we wanted to do Birds of Prey. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. For the color one, we chose a falcon. The torch is representative of, like, taking the wind, bringing it home. We really designed these to where you cannot tell who did what, and that's really telling of how collaborative we are as a team. Dude, yeah. that is sick. And they're going to look great together. I'm ready to bring the title of Master Shop home. I'm ready to put that check in the bank. The other two shops have a lot of talent. I wouldn't expect either one of them to drop the ball. But I hope they do a little. Yeah. I feel like these two back pieces are the best tattoos of my career. These tattoos are worth $100,000 each. And finally, Black Cobra. <laughs> Step on up. We wanted to bring something that you couldn't tell whose style was more heavily influenced in it. We wanted to look like both of us had an equal influence. Well, guys, this approach that you took to this tattoo, these big, huge outlines, really, really strong, really graphic, really solid, strong, bold work. Where you guys, I think, come off a little bit at an odds is the filigree that you incorporate and the light shades and tones that you have throughout the tattoo. You take either a little bit away from the foreground or a little bit away from the background. You mask the work. Otherwise, bulletproof tattoo. I also agree that there's some contrast issues for me that I'm having a little bit of a tricky time reading it, but overall, this thing is put in there so technically sound that it's hard to argue with. Flawless. Cool. Well, Thank you, well, guys. Black Cobra, you're up next. Come on down. And go ahead, reveal, please. Well, Matt and Katie. Well, guys, looking at the tattooing, it is flawless again. Both back pieces match. 
The anatomy issue here is the bottom wing. From the connection of the breast where the wing connects on the top wing, if you turn that over and look at the other side of that bird, the connections don't balance out. If you put an arch in that wing and then drop it, it would look a lot more dynamic and not as questionable. Really great job, guys. Love the tattoo. Technically, it's, it's as solid as it can be, and it looks like one tattooer did it, which is just kind of just unbelievable. And the color palette is beautiful. Thanks, guys.